I was out yesterday hooligan fishing or actually dipping for hooligan and I got skunked but the weather just got horrible and it started raining like crazy and I started the day out videoing and then I just abruptly it just started pouring like crazy and so I just aborted it in a hurry and got the heck out of there so I didn't really even bring that day to closure and so we'll go back and look at that real quickly right now hey friends today we're gonna go dipping for hooligan they're like a sardine sized fish with this net we could be out for a complete failure or we might get some hooligan, we'll see. And so we've come back out today, it's a lot nicer day. And we're in a different location. We just went down and looked and people are getting somewhere between one and five probably per dip and so kind of excited to get down there and get some hooligan so today we're just right along turnigan arm on the highway that's all the cars going by there and so it's not a very exciting spot but it looks like it will be productive That was kind of exciting, about five in the first shot. So I went out a little bit deeper on this one and got probably double or triple the amount that I was getting. So I'm going to go out a little bit deeper this time again. Further out is part of the trek. I got a hole in my net though. This little devil's trying to get away. Oh yeah. Now I'm nowhere near the bottom here. This is an experiment. I think to hang out toward the bottom. Yep. Unless I tore my net. Oh yeah, look at that. I feel like it slowed down. When we first got here, I was getting five to a net, and then I was getting 10 to a net probably, and now the last couple, three times, I've gotten one or two. And so I don't know if I'm just not in the right zone or what's going on. Oh my gosh, look at that. After all that complaining, my complaining has paid off. Goop. Okay, so, okay, I know where I was at on that one. Try to mark my spot. 
the hole in my net, every single scoop I see two or three getting out. I need to get a new net for this, but I have another net, so when I take this bucket up, I'm gonna swap nets out. See that hole right there? It's just big enough for one to get out and they just funnel out of there like they figured it out. Little devils. So if I can get that net filled up, or if I can get that bucket filled up, then I'll take the bucket up, dump it in the cooler, and exchange out my net. Oh, I can feel them hitting it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good scoop here. I'm losing them faster than they... All right, so the, it seems like they're coming pretty good right now. I think that there's a good surge of them coming through. I'm gonna try to keep my net not tangled up here and get it all out, yeah, yeah, so it's nice and smooth. And I think one of the keys is just a smooth stroke. I can feel them hitting it right there. And right there, yeah. Look at them, holy smokes. This net is killing me. I wonder if the hole's gotten bigger or if they're just getting smarter on me here. I wonder, is that hole bigger? Oh, look at that, that hole's twice as big as it was now. I'm gonna to have to switch nets out, but I gotta get a couple more scoops here. Wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, I gotta get a new net. This is just driving me nuts. All right. <laughs> you see, they're just pouring out of there, right? Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this bucket up, come back with a different net. I'm glad I had two. What I need to do, you can buy new nets for these. I'm just gonna buy a new net and put on this. There, the other net is a little bit smaller, that's why I went with this net. But I'll be back in just a moment here. Hang tight, people. I'll dump this bucket, come back with an empty bucket. A new attitude and a new net. I feel like Frogger there for a minute. I'm kind of excited to try this new net out here. Well, it's not new, but it's, it doesn't have a big hole in it. Well, my new net here is, uh, the diameter of it this way is a lot smaller and it's not nearly as deep, but it has no holes in it. <laughs> That's a huge bonus. And so we're gonna try this one out and see how it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there's a little sweet spot where I feel like I'm hit, I hit them really good. This right there is the spot. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna move my bucket over here nice and close. I'm gonna go for efficiency. Only two. I could feel them there. I must be getting a hole in this net too. I am. I'm starting to get a hole in this net right there too. And so if that tears much more, then we'll probably be done for today and I'll have to get new nets. Both these nets are old. And so, you know, they just get rotten and and whatnot. So we're gonna we're gonna go for a little bit though. And if this one gets bad, I'll switch to the other net because it's bigger and we'll see how that goes. I don't feel like I got anything in that one. One. We'll send him back for bait.
right there toward the end. You can feel them hit the net, even though they aren't very big. I think part of this is really about the smoothness of the stroke. If you're banging it on the rocks and everything, I think that the fish just have a chance to get out and they hear it coming. So you gotta be a little stealthy. There's a rock right there, and that's where you pick them up right there. A few. A new strategy here. I'm gonna pull it up before I hit that rock and see, because that one was kind of smooth. And they're running close to the bottom. Ooh, that's a good one there. I felt like that last one was kind of a smooth stroke. And see, uh, see, they're right there at the end of that. So when you hit, so there's a sweet spot. What I think I'm going to try to do on this one is I'm going to get in that sweet spot and I'm going to slow down my stroke and see if I can maybe get more to collect in there. Oh mercy! I wonder. It might be that there's a school coming through right now, and if there's a school coming through, the deal is you just got to stay in the water as much as possible. Oh, I can feel them. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, another one. The, see, the, my hole in the net is almost as big as the other net at this point. It's starting to feel like man versus net here. The last time I sped up the stroke on my net and it seemed like it worked better. So maybe they're just swimming backwards and getting out. So I'm going to try to go fast here. I don't know if there's more coming through or if that actually made a difference. Do another fast one here. I feel like I'm kind of starting to figure this out. It's getting kind of full. Oh, free Willy. Oh, free Willy. No, go back in the bucket. Okay, so I'm going to put a lid on that bucket. Oops, there's another one. Little devil. And so I put a rock on that so the wind wouldn't blow it away. We kind of got a little bit of a significant wind. There. I'm going to take the lid all the way off this bucket for now. Looks like my net finally gave up the ghost. Look at that. King salmon could just about fit through that. So it was fun. Um, we got what two and a half, five gallon buckets of of hooligan. Let's take a look at one of these monsters. So we're gonna take them home, wash them off, and um, get them all cleaned up, and then we'll get them on ice. pretty heavy. I'm going to try to get all this in one trip. 
gotta wait for a break in the traffic here. I felt like I was really starting to get the hang of it. You know, I feel like it needs to be smooth. You need to know the lay of the ground. And the fish are generally running on the bottom pretty much. And of course, just when I get it figured out, I had a catastrophic net failure, which brought us to a close. But we still got, oh, 12 gallons of fish. And so we got plenty. Thanks for coming along today.